Hello guys, this will be a bit unusual video on this channel, I decided to just talk to you more outside of technical tips and demo projects, let's just discuss more often the trends, things that are on my mind related to Laravel and PHP and job market and stuff like that. For those of you who are following the channel for a longer time, you may remember videos from my car every Saturday when I was giving tips on career and freelancing and productivity. So something like that, I want to get back on this channel if I have time. And the first example is this. I want to discuss and react on a Reddit post from PHP, staying relevant today as a PHP developer. This is a fascinating personal story and we can discuss what is happening with PHP right now on the market. I will give you four pieces of my opinion related to this topic. And you can pause and read that in full and I will link that also in the description below the original Reddit post. But this is the thing. PHP developer for 20 years, now out of job in the UK and real lack of jobs in PHP. And majority offer poor salary compared to other languages. Also the general sentiment of recruiters hit with OPHP. And also the salary from 120k, it gets down to 40, 50k for similar I guess positions. And this post received 100 upvotes and more than 100 comments so I advise you to read it in full but let's focus on four things I can say here based on some comments from Reddit users. So first comment I want to discuss is from PH Damon, and this is probably the most upvoted one which basically says that if you're a good developer you can switch from PHP to other languages relatively easily because you understand the concept of development and I generally agree with that sentiment. You need to adapt to the market and he also says in another reply the market isn't looking for PHP so you need to adapt. And also another quote, you gotta go where the money is. And in this video, I'm not trying to fake defend PHP. It's pretty hard for PHP developers in general. It's a bit different story with Laravel actually. So PHP and Laravel, it's kind of funny. It feels like two different communities. So PHP as a language, it's not sexy. It doesn't get enough credits on the market by recruiters. But if you work with Laravel, it feels more sexy. It feels more growing, more hype around it, more success stories and stuff like that. And I want to continue this trend of Laravel growth and I will showcase the examples on my channel. I will keep teaching and showing what Laravel is capable of, but don't get me wrong. If the market is asking for other languages at the moment and you feel you would get more opportunities with like Node.js or Python or whatever, you need to be ready to adapt. This is kind of my overall message. So even myself, I'm trying to adapt to trends. So I started the Filament channel, which is still Laravel, but separate branch. I also started AI coding channel. I'm trying to experiment with that. I did try Python channel in the past. There's Python and Mail Daily, which is still probably alive, but I haven't found my niche of content creator with Python because it's overcrowded. But yeah, in my mind, I'm a Laravel developer first, but I'm trying to experiment with other other technologies if I feel the need. Even for Laravel developers, I'm trying to add more topics on Laravel daily for full stack developers like React.js, like native PHP or Livewire. Maybe in the future I will shoot a course about, for example, Next.js for Laravel developers and stuff like that. Generally, my advice, my first advice from this topic from this post is be flexible. The next thing from this post and not only from this post in general that the market is currently very hard for jobs for developers. Especially for juniors that is really hard but even for mid-level with tech layoffs there are many more developers than job positions. It's not that the job positions are disappearing because in multiple case studies I've seen that the amount of jobs is roughly the same actually. It's just that the amount of developers by supply and demand is not in favor of developers. At least this is my understanding. And this is the comment that today the market is tech bingo. Like three years ago, it was much easier to get an interview. You were bombarded usually on LinkedIn by recruiters. So if you want to get a job, you have to really stand out from like 100 other candidates for the same position. So if you send like 20 CVs and you haven't got any interviews in this current market, that is the reality. It's not that uncommon. Of course, you can improve your communication skills and CV and presenting yourself and stuff like that. But generally, my point here is that the market is hard. 
Another point that some users make in this post is that PHP powers so much of internet. Of course, it's WordPress a lot, but still. So many websites with PHP, but the market for PHP isn't growing and isn't booming. Why? It's weird. And the language itself got much better from like PHP 4 days. We had PHP 7, PHP 8 improvements, so it's remarkably better compared to like five years ago. And my personal interpretation of that is that PHP was very popular for especially simple websites like five to 10 to 15 years ago. And a lot of websites were created at that time with PHP. Again, mostly WordPress and WordPress is one of the reasons of bad reputation of PHP in other communities, to be honest. But then the frameworks came in like CodeIgniter, CakePHP, Symfony and Laravel. So a lot of especially small businesses were starting with PHP like 10 years ago. But I feel that not enough new projects are being started with PHP and frameworks. Currently, if a new startup is starting a website or web application, it's almost the default to have Next.js, React, and for example, Superbase on the back end. So if you ask AI to generate a website, it will almost always go with React first. And Laravel as a framework will be like in top three or top four. So I think the argument of PHP powering a lot of internet is about projects that were created like five plus years ago. And we need to showcase more modern new projects with PHP. And I did try to find them. I made my research, not sure if you saw on my social media and Twitter, I released this repository of stories of large Laravel and PHP projects with real stories from real people on social media, sharing the numbers like millions of requests and big numbers. And also at the end, there are revenue stories like these one smallish project for like indie hackers and stuff. So there are a lot of stories. They are not that vocal enough, I think. So this is where I see my mission. I will continue updating this repository. And if you want to showcase your project here, just email me parvelous at laravel.daily.com or reply to this YouTube video or make a pull request. I'm pretty approachable. But basically, we need to show the businesses that PHP and Laravel specifically is still great to power new businesses. And then as a consequence of that, there will be more jobs. This is my theory and my aim for upcoming few years or so. And the final point I want to emphasize in this video is this comment. The question was, what were you doing for 120K a year? And the answer gives the context of the story of that particular person who worked up and was just below the CTO. So it was a story of probably great career ladder path, raising the salary, being in the comfort zone of the same company, being trusted and stuff like that. But then new CTO came and you know what often happens. So that salary of 120K basically describes the comfort zone of corporate structure of that particular company. So then with that context, this particular story is not that much about PHP, but it's more about 20 years. I'm not sure how many of them were in the same company, but previous was 120K and this doesn't exist anymore on the market, not only for PHP. It's a general market trend for developers who were in a way overpaid or overhired or overhyped like 10 years ago when startups were booming, where money was raised left and right. And now in the current market, the companies are much more reserved with calculations, trying to get profitable and not just growing with revenue and stuff like that. So there's economy involved. It's not that much about PHP. But still, since we're on Laravel and PHP channel, we can discuss. Do you know any stories or maybe your story is similar about PHP job market or Laravel job market in your country, in your industry? Is it that bad? And what would be your advice for someone who is looking for PHP or Laravel job at the moment? So yeah, this is my kind of reaction video to this post. Again, I will link that in the description below. What do you think about such videos? Do I need to keep continue them? And what other topics I should discuss in the future? Raise your questions in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.